Yeah, I want to start today off by saying that the Cavs actually won last night. I was getting a little worried after the two blowouts that we lost uh, two in a row, but we came back. We didn't have Allen, which is our best center if you don't follow basketball, and we we won by one. I don't know how, but we did win by one, so hopefully we can close it out the next game, but if not, we still have one more chance after that. If you're not a Cavs fan, I don't blame you. It's been up and down. <laughs> um but I'm just excited that they won tonight because I really like this group of people that we have and I hope that they, you know, go pretty far. Anyway, today I do have a question. Actually, before I get to the question, I did some moving around. As you can see, I'm up here all the way in the top left corner. Instead of a little bit lower in the middle of the page, it just works better with the picture. I did kind of enlarge the picture. Um, so that way it also gives me more room to put the text and it, to me, it looks a little bit clearer this way with the picture. Um, obviously, the cross is larger, which is the focus of all of this. So, and I, I also did like the um, the orange text that I put on the on the verses yesterday. So I decided to switch it to orange. If, oops, sorry, that's probably louder than I think it is. If you're not a big fan of the orange text, let me know. But I I kind of like it with the green. It's kind of like a citrusy feel and. You know, that's kind of, I, I like citrusy stuff. So uh, I'm sticking with it for right now. But if somebody really, really absolutely does not like it, just let me know. I won't be offended. I don't know if I'll change it, but I won't be offended. So question for today. What is your opinion about Christian songs? Now, it is a broad question, like most of the ones I come up with. But I want to narrow it down because I don't have a problem with Christian songs. But for some reason, I just don't don't like the newer Christian song. I grew up in a more traditional church and I think that kind of influenced me to like more traditional hymns compared to the more modern Christian songs that you'll hear on like 95 five, the fish or something like that, or some of the newer bands, which it really surprises my fiance. Every time she asks me, you know, like, do you know this song by these guys? And I'm no idea who they are. And she says, really? Because they're a pretty big Christian group. And I'm like, I promise you, I'm I'm a Christian and I, I, I don't have a problem with the songs, but they're just not, I don't like the songs personally. Now I did, you know, this question came up to, uh, in my mind before I even started doing these videos. And I felt kind of bad that I didn't like the Christian songs because obviously they have the right message, you know. Um, actually, the, the one student that I drive home after school, she kind of asked me about, you know, why... Um, why do a lot of Christian songs all have the same kind of lyrics? You know, why do they all talk about the same things? It's either about the Trinity or about, you know, praising or loving God. And I said, yeah, well, it's kind of a one trick pony because that's, you know, a lot of their songs are about the happiness and the praising God. And that's what like the more modern songs are. And then the more traditional hymns are, you know, some of them are more celebratory, but I think a lot of them have a tone at least of humility and kind of, you know, we don't deserve what we've gotten from, from God. And it reflects it in the songs. And it wasn't until that point that I think I kind of delved a little bit deeper into why I don't really care for the modern songs, because that is a big part of my personality. I try to be humble as much as I can, because I know that I'm not worth anything. And it was only because we were given mercy and, and saved that we are even allowed to, to be here and, you know, have a chance at heaven. So I think that I am just more of that personality where I am more humble and, you know, everything I get is a blessing that I don't deserve, but yet we still get it. Um, so that just kind of leaned towards my taste of everything. So I, I think I, I want to thank her for asking that question because that really did spark that kind of nugget of thought in my head. And my, my fiance and I have talked about this because she loves all of the more modern uh, Christian music. I know like Newsboys is one of them um, that she really likes. And I, I can't even remember some of the other ones. The one modern Christian band that I do like that I didn't know they were a Christian band until after years of listening to them is Skillet, funnier, funny enough. And I'm not a traditionally, you know, like heavy metal type, you know, listener, which they're not, you know, heavy, heavy metal, but they have, you know, it's not, I would call them more like heavy rock. Um, 
but I do like a lot of their songs. And I listened to them growing up in like grade school and high school before knowing that they were a Christian band. And when I listened to some of the lyrics, I just kind of thought, huh, this is, this fits with Christianity. So it was just kind of cool to me to have a, a band, a popular band that had that kind of, you know, lyric connection, lyrical connection to my faith, even though it wasn't, you know, I, at the time I didn't know that it was because that they were Christian. Now, all these years later, I find out that they're actually Christian and that's, you know, how they, their whole basis of their songs is played. And then I'm like, whoop, there goes the light bulb. It makes sense now. So when I got to see them in person, when I went with my fiance and her youth group to, to uprise last fall, um, I was really excited to see them in person because I don't like concerts and this was the first concert I'd ever been to and they were the headliner. So we stayed until, you know, nine, nine thirty Saturday night. So I could hear them. And, you know, I got a t-shirt, really cool t-shirt. I like it. Love. I mean, I love wearing the t-shirt. It's just, it's black. So I get hot in it, but anyway, um, so it was just really cool for me to, to see them in person. And we actually got to hear the main guy. I think his name is John Cooper. He actually spoke before their set, um, in kind of a tent for youth leaders and members of like church leadership groups and stuff like that. And it was just really cool to hear him talk because, you know, he and his wife, how they raise their kids, how they try to like go about dealing with modern things and how the world is so not, you know, how it used to be and how the struggle of like raising your kids the way that you want can be very tough at times, um, especially against like the whole Christian faith that there seems to be some, you know, movement against religion currently. So I, I just really like them. Um, but that's a little bit off my point. Back to the whole traditional versus more modern. I like them, Skillet, because a lot of their lyrics talk about needing somebody to, to like save them and how they're not worth, you know, pretty much what I was saying, how they're not worth anything unless they're given that grace and mercy. So that's why I've always really liked them. Um, and maybe I just, you know, maybe I'm just an old dog who can't learn new tricks now. And, you know, any new Christian music I listen to, it's just automatically like, no, like, I don't like that. I like, I like my skillet and I like traditional hymns at, at church. So anyway, what is your opinion about that? And I am honestly, I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I know I have the verse up there, but I think I'm just going to end it here today so that we can discuss this because it's already been eight minutes and we have all of chapter two coming up for Leviticus, which is 16 verses. And that would add on at least another two, two and a half minutes to this video. So I think I'm going to save it for tomorrow um, because I, I do really like the topic of what I'm talking about today. And I, I've honestly asked myself that question before, you know, why don't you like Christian music that is more modern today? You know, you, you hear it on the radio and I'm just sitting there kind of uncomfortable because I just don't like the you know, some, a lot of the songs that I hear, but then when I'm in church and I hear some hymns, you know, I don't really care for some of the tunes of the hymns, but a lot of the lyrics and uh, some of the, some of the tunes, I actually have a collection of old bulletins from my church with like hymns circled that I like how the, the piano or organ sounds when it plays at a certain part. So that way I can go back and kind of remind myself, these are the songs that you like listening to when you need some, you know, uh, Christian, uh, energy that songs give you, uh, at least for me. Um, so yeah, so let me know what you guys think about, you know, more modern traditional songs and everything I've been talking about. Unintentional shout out to Skillet, I guess, because I've listened to them since I was in eighth grade and, you know, love a lot of their songs, love what they stand for. And, you know, Hopefully I, I could get even more in person with some of them at some point in my life. You know, I was, I was about maybe 40 feet away. So that was, that was pretty close, but I'd love to meet them someday and uh, just kind of talk to them one-on-one -on -one about everything that they had already talked about in some of their songs. But anyway, um, I ended up making this video another two and a half minutes long. So sorry about that, but I am going to end it here and I will be back tomorrow with the actual reading of Leviticus chapter two. All right, we'll see you then.